Welcome to another edition of Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge Tips and Tricks brought to you by HollywoodFurdo.com. I'm Eric and today I want to talk to you about the uh, ability to move apps to your SD card. Uh, yes, one of the coolest features about the S7 is that Samsung brought back the ability to use a micro SD card with the phone, which gives you a bunch of extra memory. But if the only thing you can put on that memory is pictures and video, then that may not be all you need with a 32 gigabyte phone. You, if you're someone like me who has lots of apps and stuff, you would like to move some of that over to the SD card as well. And you can do that. Uh, now Marshmallow has a feature that allows the uh, SD card to be used by uh, the built-in memory and just expand that memory. But Samsung did not enable that feature. They were a little bit nervous about the way people use SD cards, didn't think it would be a good idea. However, they did add in the ability to move apps to the SD card. So you go into settings and you go to applications and you go to application manager and then you have to do this one by one. A little bit of a pain but not too bad because not all you don't want all of your apps to go to your SD card but I'm going to open up the AAA app and you go to storage. Right now you can see it's using 69 megabytes of internal storage. So I click that and you see it's using internal storage but there's a change button so I click change and I have the option to move it to the SD card so it's exporting AAA and all of its data to my SD card let you know it'll take a few moments and you can't use the app while it's being done and obviously don't uh, move the SD card you click the move down here at the bottom and it transfers it really doesn't take that long it takes literally a, just a few seconds to do um, once that's done there you go. Now you see storage used external storage. So now it's uh, not taking up the 70 megabytes of room on my uh, phone memory. It's using my external uh, uh, USB, uh, external USB, external SD micro SD card for that. Now not all apps can be moved to the SD card. Uh, it depends on the app developer. The app developer has to put that ability in there. If the app developer puts that ability in there, it can be done. And if they don't, then it can't be done. And the only way to know is to go one by one. You have to go one by one to each app, um, open the app. And when you open the app, Audible, for example, you'll see you click storage. And right now, internal storage, but there is a change button. That means it can be moved to external. So I'm going to click change, click SD, click move and now it's going to move it to the SD card. So a uh, really cool feature that allows you to free up some of your internal memory by moving the apps uh, to the SD card. It does take a little bit of time, but you can do it. One thing I will say, any apps that you use a widget for, if you use a lot of widgets, you don't want to move that to your SD card. Um, I believe that will break the widget. I know in Android versions past where moving apps to SD card is a big thing that would break the widget so you can try it but it probably will not work uh, but other than that as long as you have a good SD card with really fast read times and I recommend getting especially if you're going to be using it to store apps get a good uh, SD card with really fast uh, read times uh, so something like the Samsung Pro Plus or the uh, I usually use either Samsung or SanDisk but Sam, uh, the SanDisk Extreme Pro or Extreme Plus something of that nature that has fast read and write times uh, that way I know that it's not going to slow down the app by having it on the SD card anyway that's how, it done. that's how it's done and that's how you can free up some of your internal memory by moving apps to the SD card that's it for this edition of Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge tips and tricks. Make sure you subscribe to this playlist to keep up with future tips and tricks as well as accessory reviews and just all kinds of cool stuff regarding the S7 and S7 Edge. And check out my channel for all kinds of product reviews, lots of uh, electronics, gadgets, and uh, smartphone accessories that you'll be able to use with your S7 and S7 Edge. And also my Android app review playlist to check out a bunch of really cool Android apps that'll help make your S7 phone even better. Anyway, that's it. Until next time, have fun with your Samsung Galaxy S7.